and welcome to this episode of Psychatomy TV. Today's episode is all about affirmations and where they work and where they don't work. So this is going to blow your mind about what you think about affirmations. So have you tried to say affirmations and found that they just don't work? You've tried to change limiting beliefs with affirmations. So maybe you've got a limiting belief around being psychic. So you might say an affirmation like, I deserve to communicate with source, or I can be psychic, or I am psychic, right? And you might be saying that and saying that and saying that, and you know what? You're still not psychic. You're still not spiritual. What's going on with that? No matter how hard you try and say it, doesn't work. Well, here's why. Affirmations actually don't work to change limiting beliefs, because limiting beliefs are caused by, it's actually not the words that's the problem. The problem is the emotion that is linked to the words. So limiting beliefs are installed during a painful event. So you have an event and something happens that just doesn't, have, doesn't leave you feeling that great. And what can happen is in that moment you install a limiting belief. And the problem isn't the belief. The problem is the energy and the emotion that's locking that belief in place. Now, the thing is, most people just work on the words. So if you think of a limiting belief as this word part, emotion, energy part, affirmations are just working with the word part. And the, the thing about the emotion part is that's not in the part of the brain that deals with language. So it's actually in the limbic brain, which is the deeper, more primitive brain. So it's a little bit like you know, a baby's crying and you say, hey, baby that can't speak, you should just stop crying now and you don't need to be crying because everything's going to be okay. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't do that to a baby and expect it to stop crying. What you would do is you'd probably pick up the baby and give it a cuddle. <laughs> Maybe feed it, sort out whatever it's crying about. So, but when you're doing this with limiting beliefs and trying to say affirmations, that's exactly what you're doing. You know, you're basically saying to that deep primitive brain, which has no language, hey, don't think like that. And that limbic brain, limbic brain doesn't have language, so it just goes, bloop, don't know what you're talking about. And it will just have that feeling still. So what you need is a technique that releases the emotion. And that's why we teach higher self-therapy, which actually releases that emotion. Here's another example of how affirmations um, maybe don't make so much sense. So, okay, you, you've got a friend, I'm sure you've got lots of friends, but just this particular friend tells you about a great ice cream shop. And they say how nice the people are and how they've got gazillions of flavors and loads of different toppings and there's the best ice cream in the world. And you go, wow. I mean, I would go, wow, because I love ice cream. And I would say, where is that ice cream shop? And here's what your friend says. Your friend says, ah, here's how you find your ice cream shop. Write affirmations and post them all on post-it notes all over your house that say, I can easily and effortlessly find any destination I choose. And keep saying that to yourself. I can easily and effortlessly find any destination I choose. I can easily and effortlessly find any destination I choose. That doesn't make any sense. You'd probably look at your friend. I know I would. I'd say, can I not just have the address? Well, that's basically what higher self-therapy does. That gives you the address, the technique for how to release those limiting beliefs and, and the emotion attached to it. Now, here's what affirmations can do. They change your state. That's your mood in the moment. So if you've got yourself into a bit of a grumpy mood, here's how you can use affirmations. And I suggest you get your body involved in, in, as well. My favorite affirmation is this one, and it's really, really simple. It's just one word, and it's this. Yes! Now, here's what you do. You look up to the ceiling and you say it really in a really excited way, in a happy way. Just pretend you're happy for a moment and it will change your state. If you want to amp it up, you can say, yes, 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 yes. And you can say it in your own special way, but we won't go into that right now. Here's another one of my favorites. Life is good. Life is good. Yeah? And then think about all the good things about life. So that's how you can use affirmations to change your state. But if you've got limiting beliefs, then you need another technique. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Share this video, post below, join in the conversation. I'll be posting as well and answering any of your questions. Okay, bye for now.